And I was floored to see that there seemed to be far fewer female characters than male characters in what's made for little kids, aimed at little kids. While watching television with her daughter, Gina Davis didn't like what she saw or what she didn't see, women and girls. It turned out that whenever I brought it up with uh, either friends or people in the industry, they all said, no, 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 I think that's been fixed. Seeing things as far from fixed, Davis started her own institute to research the roles of women and girls in movies and media. We take the research and go directly to the studios and the creators and the networks and everybody and share it. And we've started to see movies coming out with more female characters that we know that we've impacted. Yeah. While Davis researched gender roles in movies, Lewis Grath, senior director for movies and music at Walmart, was doing some research of his own. I was really struggling with trying to find how could movies uh, play a role in really supporting the women and diverse initiatives at the company. It was just an idea that we had as I was sitting there talking to my boss about it of what if we were to host a, a film festival in town that supported women in diverse film. Greth shared his idea with Trevor Drinkwater, CEO of ARC Entertainment, who also happened to know Gina Davis. I knew that Gina was passionate about this cause and I felt like if I could connect the biggest retailer in the world the biggest companies and brands in the world with Hollywood and get them to work together to support the initiative, we could create something special. Oh yes, absolutely. Where do I sign? Hallelujah. The movies chosen for the festival all showcase diverse casts and crews. We hope that the festival will have the kind of impact where next year, uh, when, when people are making films, they'll say, hey, that Bentonville Film Festival is really cool. I want to get in that. So I'd better look at my casting here and see, you know, what I've done. Or let me think about expanding the pool for who can direct this film and produce it. The chosen submissions will be judged by a panel of distributors, agents, and film critics. What makes this festival so unique is the prizes. Some of the films will actually win theatrical release and be sold at Walmart. Well, there's no film festival in the world that offers guaranteed distribution. And when people hear that, their eyes boggle <laughs> because uh, uh, it just it doesn't happen. Everything will kick off with an opening ceremony at Crystal Bridges. You can also expect family film nights, a softball game, and panel discussions that will be held all over Northwest Arkansas. And don't be surprised to see some pretty big celebrities around the area as well. And so we're putting together some really I think groundbreaking events that are going to happen here in town that will bring a lot of celebrities to town and really kind of raise the profile of our festival. All of that focus on the festival also brings focus onto Northwest Arkansas. I think what's going to be special is when people come here, they're going to realize what a wonderful community Bentonville is and what a great place to kind of to, to be here, to live, to work. Local people are encouraged to buy tickets and come out to enjoy all the festival has to offer. Organizers say they hope the event will make an impact when it comes to diversity in film and that it will continue for years to come. I think it could quickly become one of the most significant film festivals with the other big ones that people know, the household names, every year.